Apple has officially canceled all plans to release an autonomous vehicle. That's right, the Apple car is no longer. After more than a decade of work and billions of dollars later, Apple has decided internally that this was no longer a viable project. Apple's chief operating officer, Jeff Williams, told approximately 2,000 employees the other day that were working on the Apple car that the project has been canceled, and apparently this information came as a surprise to many. Now, many of these employees will be moving over to Apple's artificial intelligence division to work on generative AI or be moved to other divisions within the company, but unfortunately, others will be laid off. Now, for those of you who are watching this and were unaware that Apple was even trying to make an electric, fully autonomous vehicle, uh, back in 2014, CEO Tim Cook reportedly approved the plans for a full self-driving vehicle to be made by the company, and that there were tons of manufacturers that were reportedly lining up to be the ones to assist Apple in this endeavor. Now, Apple was reportedly meeting with companies like BMW, Hyundai, and Kia, and apparently those talks got a little spicy. And there were other manufacturers that were trying to, you know, get in business with Apple for this car. Even reports came out that Apple tried to buy Tesla at one point, which would have been interesting. Uh, but unfortunately, the project just lost a lot of focus along the way. There were tons of speed bumps, and it was just starting to become clear that a full self-driving car was still just not feasible, especially due to laws and regulations around the world. Not to mention the technology would need to be absolutely flawless since our lives are at stake whenever you get into one of those cars or the people that are driving alongside those cars. Uh, and we just aren't there yet for mass adoption. I know robo taxis exist in, you know, California, and that's just a very small, small example of a fully autonomous vehicle. And even then, there are lots of restrictions for that. Um, in late 2022, Bloomberg said that Apple just basically decided to nix the whole fully autonomous vehicle and we're aiming for a you know self-driving mode that worked on highways but we already have that especially with tesla and other vehicles making more progress in that department and so apple was said to be planning on putting a car out there in 2026 that would be a scaled back version but at the end of the day i think apple execs really didn't seem thrilled to be offering yet another basic ordinary ev with apple branding and that leads us to just a few days ago where the car was officially canceled now while an apple car would be intriguing to me i would certainly love to review one i'm glad that apple decided to scrap it and focus on more important things since the car that the company initially dreamed of was just not feasible and uh putting out an ordinary car that we already have with apple branding just it doesn't sit well with me, and I'm glad that it didn't sit well with Apple as well. This is also good news for CarPlay, in my opinion, as more manufacturers should be adopting, you know, what is arguably the best infotainment experience in most cars these days, since car makers and making good software just don't seem to mesh. Uh, you know, there were some hesitations from some companies who didn't want to adopt the next generation CarPlay because... Maybe they saw Apple as a competitor with the whole Apple car being a thing. And since now that it's not, I don't see why um, a lot of these companies wouldn't adopt the next-gen CarPlay. But of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about all of this? The Apple car, the future of CarPlay? Let me know in those comments down below. This has been Down With Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.